Y'all, sorry, got me on a truck hold. I know I said that I wasn't going to do a Zara haul ever again. But the things I've been pushing out lately and the things that I've been seeing on other people's channel has been mind blowing. So it's not like the Zara that I've known in the past. So today we're doing a Zara haul and um, let's get into this. Oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. So my first pickup from Zara was this beautiful satin skirt. This skirt was so cute, I had to get it. I'm obsessed with satin dresses and also satin skirts. And the price for this was $45.90. Now y'all know Zara love to exaggerate with the little cents. You could have just said $45. Matter of fact, it could have been $46. That 90 is always I don't know why they do that for it. But anyways, the skirt was really cute. I did like the fitting of the skirt. It's not like the other skirts that I've tried in other stores where it comes with like a, a zip in the back. This one is very stretchy. So I feel like sizing down was definitely something that I, I should have did when I took this to the fitting room. Because the extra large is a little bit too big on me. But um, yeah, size down if you are thinking about getting the satin skirt from Zara. It's stretchy, so if you wear a large and you don't have a lot of hips, you don't have a lot of bum bum bum, you could definitely size down to a medium. I wear a large, I might size down to a medium to be honest. My next find from Zara was this beautiful khaki dress. I saw this online and I was kind of skeptical about buying it online because I didn't know how it was going to look. So I was really happy when I saw this in stores. Um, this dress is very unique. It definitely screams Zara. This is what I see when I think about Zara. And the price was $47.90 and this was in a size large. I got this in two different colors as well because one thing about me, if I like it, you have different colors. I'm going to buy them in different colors. So yeah, so it does come with a zipper on the side, so you have to like unzip it before you wear it. And it's a bit of a struggle to wear. So I would highly recommend you to wear it without makeup before you wear it. Um, my struggle was wearing it without with makeup and I didn't want to stain it. So definitely wear it without makeup or DIY, put a scarf on your face and then try it on. But yeah, it was a bit tight on the stomach area. And I would highly recommend you to size up on this, but it was definitely worth it. And of course, I had to get it in a black because <laughs> why not? <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel that the black was very much so worth it. It just gives classy, but also like on a trendy piece vibe. Like one thing about me now, the new improved me, I am all about wearing trendy pieces that make sense to my elegant chic style and this is definitely one of those pieces that you can wear boots underneath it or boots with it and you're still cute without having to look like you're too trendy definitely a vibe get it my next find was this bomber jacket hippie vibe chic edgy look i tried y'all but i am gonna say when i saw this online because i also saw this online I was kind of like, Ugh, I don't know if this will look good with my arms. But when I tried it on, I was still kind of like, Ugh, this is a no. It looks like it's good quality, but really, when I wore it, I didn't think it was $69.90. The price that it's for, it should have definitely been like $25 or $12. Because the quality of this dress was definitely not it. It felt very cheap. Uh, what? It felt very cheap. And I feel like the sleeves was unnecessary. They could have just kept it plain and simple, but I I get it. Zara is all about 
unique and being trendy and all that. I didn't like it. I I didn't like it. I'm actually happy I did not purchase this online because I was going to be very upset if I brought it. If I unboxed it and I tried it on once I received it. But seeing it in store definitely saved my life. I didn't like the quality. I thought the quality was very poor. It just looked too cheap, too stretchy. I didn't like it. It wasn't the vibe. My next find was this beautiful dress. Now, the unique part about this dress, because I have dresses like this in pink and different colors, but they're not from Zara. The difference between the ones that I got, the price for this was $69.90, which I feel like it shouldn't have been $69.90. But the unique part was this right here. Most of the dresses that I have have like this, you button it up and you can see through my dress through those buttons. This one was definitely like cuffed up. Like it was very interesting. I wasn't expecting it until I paid attention to the details. I was like, whoa, okay. This is the dress. Okay, so if you're looking for a dress that has button in the front, but you don't want it to like pop open on you and surprise everyone, this dress right here was definitely it for me. I did purchase it. And you know we're trying to lose weight. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to fit it, okay? We're going to fit it. But if you have this problem, just get yourself an undergarment, you know, those shapewear, wear underneath your dress, and it will make sense to you once you put it on. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely a cute dress in my opinion. I love how fitted it look on me. I loved how, you know, it just it just got the body together. It's definitely cute. Loved it. And I definitely copped it. $69.90 was pushing it, but I like the dress. My next find was this beautiful velvet suede, whatever you want to call it, dress. When I first saw it, I wasn't so sure if I was gonna like it because it has padding on the shoulders. And if you're if you're like me, you're very um I don't like the shoulders and my arms. That's the size. That's the price. I was very, I was very pleased because I'm very um, insecure about my arms. I got big arms, and if you have broad shoulders, you probably wouldn't want this dress because it has padding on the shoulders. But I was very, very pleased when I tried it on. I looked very expensive. I looked very cute. I looked very elegant. I was not expecting for this dress to look the way it did. I did not zip my back because, you know, we wasn't trying to get stuck in the dress in the fitting room. So we just kept it the way it was. Yeah. Anyways, I think this is really cute if you are doing New Year's parties or Christmas parties or, you know, just you want to look put together on a cute little date night. This is definitely a vibe for it. And this type of fabric is definitely trendy this year. So go cop it. And it can definitely be a statement piece because I feel like dresses like this, fabrics like this, are definitely timeless. I love the color on me. Once again, we're going to wear shapewear. But our goal is to lose weight, so uh, <laughs> mind your business on that part. <laughs> but my next find was actually my favorite of all of them were this or these pants right here. This is like elevated casual the jogger trouser sweatpants or whatever you want to call it is definitely it for me i tried this on and it was like a whoa the satin on the top it's drawstrings and it was this is a large the price for this was 49.90 and y'all when i tried this on i was amazed on how well it made me look like casual fridays just got pricey i was amazed these pants right here were definitely one of my favorite out of all the items that i tried on i did not expect for these pants to fit me like they fit like they were fitting i was expecting it to be a little bit tight on the tight on the thighs but i was wrong it was so nice it was so so nice so nice oh this was the part where i was like okay zara Okay, I miss you too. <laughs> but it was definitely one of my favorite finds. Go up a size if you do have thick thighs, but it's definitely true to size. Also, if you're enjoying this trial haul, make sure you like and subscribe. My name is Afi Elizabeth. I love helping women develop a style that promotes their social and public image. 
without having to break the bank. How we do that by mixing high and low fashion all at once. Affordable, high, which is, you know, quality pieces and also fast fashion such as Zara, all your other favorite stores. On this channel is all about how well you take care of your clothes and how you style them. So if you love those type of videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and let me know what type of items that, wait, let me know the type, which item that you like the most in this trial haul. Um, my next find was this very unique sweater. And this is why I love Zara, is because they have unique pieces. And I'm all about unique pieces. And this sweater right here was definitely eye-catchy. Now, I am going to say the pricing for this sweater was definitely not the vibe. It was like $49.90, I believe. I might be wrong, but it was definitely not the price that I expected for a sweater like this to cost. But I did like how well it fitted, how well it fit on me. Um, it did give me a little bit of a low quality, but I did love the uniqueness of the sweater. Once again, when you go shopping at a store like Zara Fast Fashion, you will come across some low quality pieces and some good quality pieces. At the end of it, it's really all about how you take care of your clothes because you can buy an expensive item and you don't give it the care that it needs and those the quality dies down. It's really all about how well you take care of your clothes. And for me, that's what we're practicing more on. And we're going to be buying things that, you know, mixing high and lows together. And really, the key here is to take care of my clothes. But yeah, I definitely would give this a good 8.5 just because of how unique it is and how much, you know, it just, I don't know, it's just the arms. Like, it gives me, you got something underneath there. <laughs> but yeah, the sweater is definitely it. It is a size large though. Just in case you did not know or I didn't tell you. My next find was the leather pants. Um, yeah, so this is the problem right here. You will come across pants and items and fabrics like this if you shop at fast fashion stores. But this is a size large and the price was $49.90. And I am going to say that I feel like the pants were a little bit too big for my liking. I'm completely shocked because usually when I buy pants that are a size extra large, leather pants in particular, wait, what? Leather pants from Zara, I always have to go up to an extra large because <laughs> these nyash <laughs> in the back, and they need space. But I was shocked that the extra large was a little bit big for me, and these are leather pants. Um, the cream leather pants, I feel like a black would have done it for me but just the sizing itself was very shocking to me because usually your large does not fit me but yeah i would definitely say size down if you wear my size i wear size 12 so i feel like a large would definitely work and of course you will come across items like this that will make you cry from time to time but don't expect for a high for a fast fashion store to be louis vuitton you know but yeah that's what I wanted to say. These pants are definitely it, but I would definitely say size down. If you love these videos and you love these Sean Hall, make sure you like, subscribe. This was my outfit of the day. And thank you so much for joining me on Vlogmas Day 8. I will see you guys on Day 9.